Want to start selling your digital products like ebooks, courses or wall arts but have no idea how to build a website? Don't worry, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple professional looking digital product website from scratch even if you've never built one before. No coding and no complicated tools. I'll show you exactly what to do step by step and by the end of this video you'll have a live website ready to showcase and sell your digital products. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. To sell digital products on a WooCommerce website, we are going to do just 5 parts. The first part is to launch your website. Now this is where we get a new website live on the internet. So to launch your website, we are going to do 2 simple steps. The first step is to choose a name for your website. And to do that, just click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Here you need to enter the name you want for your website and then click on check availability. As you can see the name is available. So once the name is available, we can move on to the next step which is to get the domain and hosting. A domain is the name of your site that people search for to visit your site. And hosting is the place where your website's files will be stored. So there are two hosting providers that we recommend. The first one is Webspace Kit and the second one is Hostinger. You can choose anyone. If you use this coupon code WL10, you get a 10% discount on both the platforms. In this video, I'm going to use Webspace Kit but the process will be similar to Hostinger. So to get the domain and hosting, just scroll down, click here and it will take you to Webspace Kit. Now here you can choose any plan you want. I am going to choose the basic plan and here choose how long you want the hosting for. I am going to select 12 months. If you want a better deal, you can go for 36 months which costs less and saves you a lot of money. Now enter the domain name you just chosen, click search. And as you can see, we are getting this domain for free. So let's add it to cart. Now here I need to fill in these details to create your account. So let's fill in these details. Then click checkout. Select the payment method. Enter your payment details and click continue. Okay, now we have made the payment. So if we click here, you can see we have successfully got the hosting and the domain. Once you've got your domain and hosting, your website should be live on the internet. So to check that, let's open a new tab. Now if we enter our domain name and press enter, you can see we've got a brand new website under the name that we selected. As you can see, this is the default design of our website. Now let's go to part 2 of this video which is to start building your website. Now to build our website, we are going to do 3 simple steps. The first step is to log into your site. So to log in, just type slash login after your site's address and this will take you to the login page of your website. Here you have to enter the username and password. Now once your site is active, you should have received the login details of WordPress in your email. So let's open our email and as you can see we've got the username and password here. So let's quickly copy these, paste them here and click login. Now it will take you to the WordPress dashboard and this is the place where you can control the entire website. And now we are successfully logged into our WordPress website. So let's go to step 2 which is to install a theme. To install a theme, go to appearance then click on themes, click add new, here search for Astra, click on install, then click activate and the theme will be installed. Once you've installed the theme, let's go to step 3 which is to import the sample template. Now instead of building our website from scratch, we are going to use the ready made template and make it our own. To import the template, just click here and you'll see two options to create your website. One is the AI website builder, the other is the classic starter templates. As we are going to import the template, let's select classic starter templates. Here choose a page builder. Now this will help you edit your website easily in the future. So I am going to go with Elementor. Now here choose the type of website we are building. Since we are creating an e-commerce site to sell our products, let's select e-commerce. And as you can see there are a variety of templates available, so you can pick the one you like. I am going to select this one. And this is how our site will look. Now here you can upload your site's logo, choose the font style and select the color palette. To upload your logo, click upload file and select the image you want. You can even adjust the logo's width by simply dragging the slider. Next, choose the font style and the color palette for the website. Once you're done, click continue and here you can select the features you want to include in your site. Select the one you want, click continue again. Finally fill in these basic details 
Now click submit and build my website. As you can see, our website is getting ready and it's done. To view your website, just go to your website. Click refresh. And as you can see, we have successfully imported our website. Okay. So once you've built your site, we can now go to part three of this video where we will see how you can add digital products to your website. Now to add digital products to your site, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to delete the sample products. Now if you go to shop, you can see that we have the sample products on our website. To delete these sample products, let's go back. Click on visit dashboard. Then click on products. And you'll see all the sample products listed here. Now to delete them, simply click here to select all. Then click on this drop down. Choose move to trash. Then click apply. And that's it. All the sample products are deleted. All right. Now that we've deleted the sample products, we can now start adding our own products. If you already have a digital product ready, you can skip this step and proceed to the third step. But if you don't have a product, let's go to step two, which is to create a digital product. You can create any product you want. In this video, I'm going to create a digital wall art. To create this, first we need a design. If you're good at designing, you can create your own design. But if you need any help, you can use an AI tool that can help you create high quality designs, which you can use on products you like. So to do that, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this site and sign in using your Google account. Now to create your wall art design, click arts and drawings. And here you'll find a lot of different styles that you can choose from. Select the one you like. I'll go with this one. So let's click create. Now to create a wall art image, describe how you want the image to be. Once you're done, click generate image. You can see that your wall art image has been generated and it's looking great. And you can download the image by clicking here. However, for wall prints, especially in larger sizes, the image resolution often needs to be increased. But simply enlarging it can reduce the quality, making it look blurry or pixelated. To avoid this, we're going to enhance the image and make it sharp and high quality. For that, we're going to use a tool called Upscaly. And to use that tool, just click the link below this video. Then click on download. Then select Windows or Mac. And it will be downloaded to your computer. Once the download is complete, to install this tool, open the file, click on install. And once it is installed, click finish. And keep clicking next. Then finally click get started. To upscale your image, click here. And upload the image you want to enhance. Next, select where you want the final image to be saved or just leave it at the default path. Once everything is set, click on upscale it to enhance your image. And as you can see, the image quality is much better and it's perfect for professional digital products. So now we have successfully created our digital product. So let's go to step three, which is to add the product to our website. To do that, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Click on add new product. Now first, let's enter the product name. Now enter the product description. And here enter the price of the product. Now as you can see, right now this is a regular product. Now in order to make this product into a digital product, we need to enable these options here. So let's enable them. And this product will be changed into a digital product. You can see that we have got a new section where we can add our own product file. So to add a product file, let's click add file. And to add the product file, let's click choose file. Then drag and drop the zip file into your computer. Now again, enter the name of the product here. Now as you can see, your file has been added here. So let's scroll down and here you can give an explanation about your product. So once you have added these details, next let's add the image of our product. Now to make our product look more professional and realistic, I've turned my image into a mockup and you can do the same with free tools like Canva or FreePick. Once your mockup is ready, to add this image to our product, click set product image and upload the image that you just downloaded. Next, add a product category. Just add the category name and click add new category. Finally, once everything looks good, click publish to make your product live on your store. So now we have successfully added the product to our store. And now if we go to our website, 
click refresh you can see that our digital product is here in the same way you can create more digital products for your website so this is how you can add a digital product okay now if you see here we have the default currency as dollars here now to change this to your currency just go to your dashboard then go to woocommerce click settings now scroll down and here you'll find the currency option just click on it and select the currency in which you want to sell your products i'm going to choose indian rupee and click save changes and now if we go back to our website and click refresh you can see that our product price is now shown in rupees now if we click on it you can see that it can be purchased from our store so let's click on add to cart then click proceed to checkout and you can see that it is asking for the shipping address of your customer now since this is a digital product which can be directly downloaded from your website it is not necessary for your customers to enter the address here so next let's see how we can remove these address fields to remove these fields we're going to install a plugin on our wordpress website so to install the plugin let's go to our wordpress dashboard now go to plugins click add new now search for checkout field editor in this box and you will get this plugin now this is the plugin that we are going to use to help us remove the address fields for our digital products so to install the plugin let's click install then click on activate and now the plugin has been installed so once you've installed the plugin let's go to woocommerce then click on the checkout form and as you can see these are the fields that we have on our checkout page here select the fields that you want to remove from the checkout page and click disable and all the fields will be removed so once you have selected the fields that you want to remove click save changes and now if you go to your checkout page and click refresh you can see that all the address fields have been removed now here you can see we don't have the payment method on our website now to allow people to pay for your products we need to set up a payment method so let's go to part 4 of this video which is to set up a payment method and once you add a payment method anyone can purchase your products and you can receive the payment so to set up a payment method we are going to do three steps the first step is to create an account on cash free cash free is a payment gateway which we are going to use to send and receive payments easily on our website it supports multiple payment methods like credit debit cards upi net banking and so much more to create our account just click the link in the description and it will take you to this website now click on create account and sign up with your google account and now we have successfully created the cash free account so let's go to the next step which is to set up the account first you need to select how you want to use cash free since we are setting this up to collect payments from our customers let's click continue under collect payments and here you need to fill the business details so first enter the brand name then choose your product category next select your annual turnover and business type and these details will help cash free understand what kind of business you are running now here choose collect payments and select on which platform you want to accept the payments since we are selling products on our website choose website then enter your website's url So let's go back to our website. Copy the URL. Then paste it here. Click continue. Next, you need to complete the KYC details to add the payment method. So first enter your business PAN number and click next. Then enter your Aadhaar number. Check the box to confirm the declaration and click on verify Aadhaar. Now enter the OTP sent to your other link mobile number and click confirm. Now enter your business address and click next. In this step enter your bank account details where you want to receive the payments. Then click verify. And once you've added the details, click submit. And remember that once the KYC process is completed, your account will be under review and once the review is completed, you will get an update shortly. And that's it. We have successfully set up the cash free account. Now let's go to step 3, which is to connect cash free to your website. So to connect cash free to your online store, go back to your WordPress dashboard. Click on plugins and then click on add plugin. Search for cash free. 
Now click install and then click activate. Next go to WooCommerce, click on settings, then open the payments tab and click manage. Now here you need to enter the app ID and secret key from your cash free account. These keys allow WooCommerce to securely connect with cash free and process the payments. So to get these keys go back to cash free, click on developers, then go to API keys, click generate API keys and you will see both the app ID and the secret key. Now copy them one by one and paste them into the right fields back in WooCommerce. Once done, click save changes and that's it. We have successfully added the payment method to our website. Okay, now if we go back to our website and click refresh page, you can see that we now have the payment option at checkout. Now anyone can purchase your product by placing the order. So to purchase your products, people just need to fill in their details. Then click pay now and select a payment method. Here if they enter the payment details and click proceed to pay, they will get this page. So this means your customer has successfully completed the payment and purchased your product. And once someone has purchased the product from your website, if they click on this button, the product will be downloaded to their computer. Now here you can see that the downloads remaining is set as infinity which means once a customer has purchased the product, they can download it as many times as they want. Now if you want to limit the number of downloads available for your customer, you can easily set a download limit. So to set a download limit, just go back to our WordPress website, go to products, click on all products and click edit on the product. Now scroll down and you'll see the options to set the download limit and the download expiry. So enter the download limits and click update to save it. And now your customer can only download this product twice. Now once the order is placed, you will receive two emails. One is from your website confirming that you have received a new order and the other is a payment confirmation from Cashfree. But what about your customer? Once your customer places an order on your site, they will receive an order confirmation email in their inbox where they can see the order details and download the product. Next, let's go to the final part of this video which is to customize your website. To do that, click on edit with Elementor and let's say you want to change the image. Just click here, go to style, click choose image and then drag and drop the image you want. And in the same way, you can change any image on your website. To change any text, click on the text and type the text you want. In the same way, you can change any text on your website. Once you're done with the changes, click publish. Now if we go back to our website and click refresh, you can see that all the changes have been updated. So now we have successfully customized our website and that's it guys. This is how you can easily sell digital products on a WooCommerce website. So if you're ready to start making your own digital product website, just click here and it'll take you to the page that we saw in the first step, which is choosing your domain. So just pick a domain and build your website. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.